This thing looks like it has shifted all the way back. Is it still showing what you need it to show? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's transition. No. I don't know why or how, but there's Vampola. All right, so tighten up and bring it in. It's moving towards you. It doesn't matter what I do. Oh, I see. It's just it's shifting. That's such an awesome look. It looks like we're meaning to do that. Are we live? Yeah. Why are we texting? Let's talk to the people. Uh oh. Hi, Bobos. How are you doing? You want to come up here? You want to come up here? Y'all, I always forget that this camera is only one because I think it's on you over there. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that camera. I think it's just it's, look how crooked it is. Don't mess with it because I think it's gonna fall. I think I need to move it. <laughs> it's so, like I need to put it in the middle somehow. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Teresa said I was watching the drone view. That's basically what that is. Hope everyone's had an awesome today. Why does he sit right on the edge? Like, because he sorry. knows you'll catch him. Look at me. <laughs> we have some exciting news to share with you, people. The ball. It's amazing. It is our highly anticipated these. What are these? I will tell you. I'm going to tell you what. You know what that is? That is the Hobson. Why? Because uh, he's fancy. Because it's champagne. And the Hobson, can anybody tell me where the, the name Hobson comes from? Look at that. Perfectly balanced. Perfect, I say. Perfect. Humming. So today I'm going to art on one. And you know what the cool thing about these is? Well, there's a lot of cool things about them. My favorite things about them are the fact that I don't have to wait for them to cure to use them. I mean, you have to wait, obviously, till your resin sets, but that's 24 hours as opposed to <gasps> weeks. I don't have to spend however much resin it is to fill up a mold and hope that I popped all the bubbles because you have to pour it pretty thick for it to work. I just pour on one of these and the fact that it has this plastic on it makes it no fuss cleanup. You guys, um, before I tell you where the, the name mm -hmm. Hopson comes from, unless somebody can chime in and tell me, um, You see that bottle that, uh, oh, well, I guess Bowie wants to chew on a stick. I didn't even. You're going to take that. He's like, look at him. What? I looked at him, he was like, He's like, I don't know stick in my mouth. I hate sticks. Um, you see the bottle that that uh, wine caddy are technically, well, they're both 
they can both go over wine and champagne bottles. Um, but I like to call the fancy one Hobson. Um, the, uh, the bottle is a bottle of Dom that Laura Taylor gave us. She sent to us when we got our 10,000 subscribers. She did. The note's still on there. I'll show you to you. <laughs> what stick, Mom? He's all, ah, yeah. I don't got no stick. I don't be got no stick. The note has faded. We've had it for a minute. But look like this. It's too low now. What about this? Turn it to, uh, yeah, that's a little better. It says, Jeff and Erica, you are the best. 10,000 ATD is bananas. Laura Taylor. So. So the name Hobson is from the movie Arthur, the original one. That was his butler's name. Basically his father. But in the remake, their name was Arthur I, too. I uh, You're just going to pretend that one didn't exist? That was the worst movie ever. Sorry, Russell Brand. You, uh, you're a funny guy on other movies. I did not appreciate Arthur, the newest one. Sorry. Okay. Oh, Teresa, you said Arthur. That's like one of my favorite movies of all of all. Like, it's true. If we're cleaning or, or getting art done, and and we're both doing something. Um, I'll put that movie on or amongst others, but that's definitely one for the books. So I'm taping this since we already took the backing off. So I don't have to clean it. When you buy one of these, it has the backing on it. So you just pull off one side and paint it and leave the back side on which will be what this tape acts as for two. Oh Oh, no, Teresa, I don't, yeah, we're Butler, but the Butler's name. I said, I said the name first, and I just want to know if you knew where the name comes from. The jerk, about the same time. What, Susan? Mm, he dopey. Okay, stop it. I gave him one of his chewies. Just he pulled it up for him. All right. Let's, um, we're going to do inks on this so we can have immediate gratification. Cool with y'all? Cool. Cool with me too. Um, I guess because I'm a creature of habit, I'm using my go to colors, which are. Some kind of pink, some kind of blue, and some kind of yellow. Um, I need some alcohol. There's nothing there. All right. Mm -hmm. Is that a weird sound, Bowie? I turned his head sideways. I'm just filling up this little ketchup bottle with alcohol because it's just easier to control. Control. Where's my this? Is it plugged in? Yes. <gasps> Let's get going. First, you guys know how to alcohol ink, but I'm just gonna talk my way through it just because reasons. Do you have to cut the holes from the tape? You guys won't have to do anything with tape because... She, she, she put that on there so that nothing would get on the back of it. Which, that's really crappy tape, so it'll probably go underneath it. Nah, what are you going to do? It'll be less clean up than otherwise. Oh, they're 
talking about you and the cave. Yeah. There'll be more running in hot sand in ten. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Bowie don't care. Bowie don't care. He's just a fat belly baby boy. Yeah, this is bad tape. <laughs> like it's immediately peeling off. Yeah. I'm not really doing too much to design on this. I just want everything to set so we can see what it looks like. Too much, but you guys see my shirt? Because we do the test, so you don't have to. So you don't have to. Mm -hmm. That's not Man, it is. I I looked it up. It's in the thing. I go backwards. I always put on classical magic when I'm cleaning. Great movie. Yeah. That's gonna work. We'll find out. These colors don't look cute. I'm just going to wipe it off and start over. I already think that's going to look odd. In fact, I'm probably just going to redo just this a bit. It's gonna look so different for everyone because what you're you're probably seeing is the ink getting under the tape because that's what's standing out the most. <laughs> Zero resistance. Okay, that's not cute. I'm gonna wipe this off. This is the back of it that I was trying to avoid getting any ink on. It just didn't take as well as the last time we did this. This is not cute colors. Starting over. But that's kind of a cool thing about these things. Is that if you don't like it, just wipe it off. Oh, you didn't like that? I didn't. It's fun. The edges are like, you can see the color. Did not like it. All right. Let's try this again. I think that yellow messed me up a little bit. Okay. Take two. Take to you.
I'm just going to use a few different pinks and blues on this one. It's been a busy day for me. What's up, Tracy? Welcome. Yeah, I like the darker when it's when it's gonna be flat. Yeah. The darker looks so awesome. One reason why I wanted to reset it because it was a little bit faint. Oh, you know what we could do too? Uh, let it dry and then put some uh, get get the the the, uh, the glue pen that you use for that tumbler. Do some awesome lines, like trace some of those colors, and then put some alcohol ink down. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, oil, oil, yeah, gold leaf, and then spray that stuff over it. So that would be kind of dull, but still shiny. And that would look nice. I would like to see if we can put uh, the resin and then the uh, open top coat to make that look. Right? No. You can use top coat. We want to thank also Stone Coat Countertop for sending us a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's package. We know we're going to use every single bit of that stuff. Yeah, we are. We're selling some pigments and some resin. It's crazy that thing looks so sloppy because of all these colors underneath. <laughs> it may end up being a little sloppy, you never know. What's up, Shane? What's happening? Um, Catalicious, um, I believe that's how I say that. Um, she said, hey guys, thanks for sharing the live. I have a question. I ordered Color Obsession in Snow White. They can't figure out how to open it. Any suggestions on how to get it open? You might have to uh, hit it with a heat gun. Hit it with a heat gun, or there might be some tape around it. So you might want to try to cut maybe around it. And if not, just hit it with a little heat, like your heat gun. Yeah. I had that issue with the 50 open. mil bottles, 50 mil jars. Paper. Ooh, this will be good. It's gone forever. Bangkok has it now. This and then some gold leaf. You want me to make like some gold leaf? Should we put it on there now or no? Uh, I was. No. I don't know. I don't know if the matte spray will. It will, but it'll still full texture, right? Sure. We gotta look nice. Let's do the easy stuff. Oh, you have your mix oil. What do you want? The, the light stuff or the stuff that comes off? Whichever. 
simple, simple leaf is less messy. If you guys don't know what simple leaf is, it is super awesome. Um, it's exactly that gold leaf, except simple. It's well, simple. simple. It's very easy to use. Let's just say. See, it's 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 on a thing called a carrier paper. It's just like tissue, and it's stuck to this somehow, probably just pressure. Um, and what you do is you put your adhesive down, let it dry for a second, and then rub this over the top, and it'll just peel right off. Whatever you've written or put down a line or design um, and it's not as messy there's still some cleanup a little bit but it's nowhere near as messy as loose leaf and then you use a brush to get off the excess that's a actual one or you can use this one. I love this brush. You can use that. The brush. It should be that one kind of crappy one. It's not. It's not crappy. It's just really rough, and it's perfect to take off extra gold leaf. I've lost my place, so we're gonna go ahead and add the gold leaf. <laughs> Just going to apply this down, rub it, make sure it's stuck to all the places we want it to be. Awesome. I forget that this paper isn't what we usually use, and so it's coming through. Move on, next area, rub it, next area. Jeff, have you ever used a Neo, uh, a Neo airbrush by uh, Iwata? Yeah, they, uh, I'm not a fan of them. Um, it didn't react, it doesn't have the reaction that uh, it would be good for somebody painting uh, painting uh, maybe like model parts like just simple you know put your color in paint a color I wouldn't I wouldn't do detail or anything like that with it um, but I want to mix a good product so it's not by means any you know, it's not garbage or anything. It's just not as, um, I like the reaction to the I want Eclipse. What do you mean by reaction? Like the reaction, like, like right when you pull back on that trigger on, on the Eclipse, the, you know, the paint's going to come out and that's very a, fine. It's kind of like a response time. Yeah. You know what? That's sticking all the way, isn't it? Uh, I don't know what you mean by sticking all the way. It's sticking to all of the color. It's not sticking just to your... I think it is. I just put a lot on here because I want to see what it's going to do. I don't think you're going to be able to get that. I didn't even think about that. It'll be fine. Is that all the way dry? <laughs> the piece should have been all the way dry. It'll be fine. Oh, 
Heidi asks, what was the new blue you used the other day that had the gold uh, chameleon in it? Serenity. Serenity. Exciting. And if you guys notice that name underneath there, that's just the last person that subscribed to us. It'll it'll just continue to. It may change with donations too. I don't know. Yeah, but Patrick says hi, new to subs new subscriber. Hey. New to alcohol inks, teach me. So. I'm happy to teach you alcohol inks. I don't know that this video is going to be very in depth on how to work with alcohol inks, but I'm, I'm getting a lot of requests to do more alcohol ink videos, so we'll be doing more on the channel. And Mary Beth Hainsley says, Jeff and Erica, my dogs get relaxed when they hear your voices. Isn't that sweet? That is sweet because my dogs get hype when they hear us on the channel. They're like, we're going to know sign. Bring that side camera down to you. That, that looks, because that's a perfect lighting, and that camera's in back of the light, so it really, look at that. If you need, babe, let me see. Where's that? You, you know which brush I'm talking about. It's like a, a tan. It's pretty rough. Like, it's a little sir. It doesn't reset in the, I know that it looks like it does on there, but. It doesn't end the... Sorry about that. I'm sure you guys are seeing buffering. That blows my mind. I don't understand why it does that. Heather says, I'm doing my countertops this weekend with stone coat. Can't go wrong. It's going to be a murder. Yes, yes sirree. I'm going to just wipe the back of this off. Little baby Bowie. Deborah says, love your hair. Hey, thanks. And Heather says, I'll post I'll post it in the ATV group when I'm done. Can't wait. Okay. Let me clear this so we can see what it looks like. Frankie Staten says, hey you guys, long time no see. Hope all is well hey, with Frankie. everyone. This is what she looks like. So the next thing I'm going to do is seal it. And to seal it, we're going to use UV Archival in matte. Specifically matte, because anything above matte is going to reactivate your inks, and you don't want that. I already have them live on the website. She already has them live on the website. That looks so good. Is the gold a little bit dull but still shiny? It's still very shiny. I thought it would have, like, yeah. 
So like made it turn a, brown? It's not a dollar. It's, it's just a, I a sealer. I swear when we've used it over gold before, it made it brown. But that may have been gold spray paint, not gold leaf. Yeah. Becky Park says, howdy guys, love the wine butler. I'm doing a couple coats because we're not going to resin seal it. If you're going to resin seal these, it'll be fine without two coats. You can just do one coat of the UV archival. It's good having that camera back here because all that light coming in and the camera behind it looks so great. Man, that looks so nice. I love the, the frost look. What does it look like on the other side? I don't know, but that it's all shiny. That gold under the pink uh -huh. looks super fun. So, technically, look at that. It's good to go. That's so nice. And we we made them a little bit, like almost a half half inch, maybe an inch, a little wider. Just so you can get more resin, more alcohol ink, a little bit more detail. Some of them are pretty skinny. Um, and a little bit shorter. And, and I don't understand how they make them shorter because wine glasses are pretty... All of ours pretty, have uh, a big bell. Yeah, the bell. <laughs> it's wine 30. Hear that bell? Super pumped about it. It looks gorgeous. And I didn't have to wait weeks to use it. Makes my heart happy. And there's Hopkins. Yeah, Hopkins. Hmm? That's it. And there's Hopkins. This. Oh, Teresa. Sorry. I wish everybody had a little bit different color. Sometimes I get them. No, it. So there. There. Did you show them the other one? Just the plain one, the wine. I, I, I wanted to call. I guess they both can be different names because they're both different shapes. Derp. Um, and then the, you have a simple, nice, clean one without a design on it which is literally the same diameter, length, and width, um, 11 by five and a half. All the tinks. <laughs> I'm loving it. They're live on the website right now. If you're subscribed to our website, which is easy to do, just go to the website and click subscribe. Peel, um, peel one of those that are messed up. Peel it off just to show them how to peel it off. Okay. Um, we sell these on our website. If you guys are new to the channel, um, now we have the wine butlers. We have geodes. We have round, square, and hexagon shaped posters as well. Um, and then we have 12, 16, 18 inch round and geode shape in the clear. To think it all started with the sticks. Uh, Jean, Jen, sorry about that. Um, I use uh, the Thunder Laser. You 
these will not last 24 hours. <laughs> and they're so economically priced too, yeah. at 12 and $15. Yeah. We should have did this before Christmas. You guys could make these and easily sell them for at least, what, 20, 24? I would have said 35. 30 bucks. And when you buy these and you peel the paper off, remember just peel one side off. Leave the other side on if you're doing alcohol, ink, or resin. There, so now we just paint on this side. Teresa said already gone. I don't think so. <laughs> I'll get in there and check though. I've got to go on Monday and make some more. So you guys, we have a week, not even a week, right? A week from we today, leave. No, yesterday. We, oh, I'm thinking about when we leave. All right, so we have um, six days till our next class here in Florida, our first 2021 class, um, and all, uh, all skill levels welcome. It's in Bradenton Beach, Florida. Uh, it will be... February 16th and 17th. January. January? Oh, January, sorry. <laughs> Six days from now, this month, not next month. So January 16th and 17th in Brighton Beach, Bradenton Beach, Florida. Uh, you can go on our website and reserve your seat. I think there's like five seats left, something like that. I was just kidding. Teresa, don't be saying that. Then people will be like, oh, okay. I won't go looking. Doing some mischief over there. You been getting in the fireball today, Teresa? I know you'd be killing that fireball. Turn up. There's a trouble starter over here. And then I got excited because they were sold out. <laughs> Uh-oh, she put her hair down, everybody. Wee, wee. No fireball here. Bowie, Bowie. Hi, Bowie. How's he doing? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. How long in advance do you know what online classes you'll be making? It took six weeks for my students to get to Denmark. Is it possible for me to attend one? Um, I don't plan them that far in advance right now, but I can. I'll plan them like six weeks out. Thanks, Swamper. Um, Sorry if we didn't see your comments. She just switched it over to multi-stream, which I always forget to do. And that shows comments from Twitch and Facebook. Something. Oh yeah, I'll start putting them three months out and so that it gives time for you to play Hi, along with us. Heidi. Hi. Come on, there's a little easy. And then Shelly Nicholson. Come here. Nicholson says, the clear spray mm -hmm. I use works amazing over all the alcohol colors except the black. What am I doing wrong? What spray is it? Oh, thank you. My mom gave me that. For my birthday last year. Was it for my birthday? Mm -hmm. I think so. It's a piece from yesterday. Okay, my turn. Okay, Logan. Okay. you are trying. He drives me crazy. He gets up here and moves around. See? Fluffy hair gets in my face. Get in my face! That's enough, Alright, guys. 
it's your vision on the archival spray. Oh, you, it's your version on the archival spray. Okay, so Chloe. Chloe. She can do the color spray. Chloe, I'm not sure. I don't know that I have ever used it over black. Let me do a test and I'll let you know. Oh. Um, not yet, Sue. I had to wait on a clear coat to set, but it'll go this coming week. Um, mini color or baby Aki? Neither. Neither. They're pom pom babies. Yeah, Vamp. Um, the alcohol ink class will be February. I'm skipping this month because by the time we got our boards figured out, it was already the 8th, and I didn't want to. Vamp says, Erica, here's an AI in February. Is that your megaphone? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'll be posting it probably this coming week for February. Hopefully that be enough time. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Deborah. But Thanks, Shane. Day. All right, we got to get our shyster together. Um, we're going to a concert tonight. It's very uh, safe. You have to be in your car. Possibly you could stand outside your car. Um, it's at Texas Motor Speedway, so there'll be a lot of, lot of space in between everybody. So. Um, we're going to the drive-in. We're going to the drive-in, basically. Uh, we're going to see a DJ producer. Dead Mouse Five. Dead Mouse. A lot of people say Dead Mouse Five because of the way he spells his name. I just and like yeah, to tell Vamp you. is uh, very jelly of that. So, with that said, be kind to one another. You never know what somebody's going through. Have an awesome Saturday, and always, always remember, like my shirt says. We do the test to get a rocket. Hey, my shirt doesn't say that. It doesn't. It does. It does not it say does. that. It says right there. No, There's it 48 O's. Bye. Um, I said bye. Babe.